This is the uh, very first uh, laboratory for the um, veterinary students where we're actually using um, synthetic Cadavers. It's basically uh, to replace uh, previous surgery labs uh, for uh, senior veterinary students uh, where we had historically used uh, cadavers. So this is kind of the, uh, the new age of uh, surgical training. This is the very first time it's ever been used uh, in the country. Um, we uh, helped develop the cadaver with um, this company, Sindava. This is the most realistic, ethically sound, um, an accurate model that there is today. Uh, we basically use the Sindavers um, to simulate a real live surgery. They're practicing procedures that are very commonly performed. I mean, performed every day in general practice. Procedures such as removing foreign objects from a stomach, uh, procedures such as removing objects from intestines, removing spleens, spleen. uh, doing uh, biopsies of the liver, these are amazing models, so most of the organs that we're doing surgery on are vascularized. So they've got a, a pump and we've got this you know, synthetic red fluid that looks like blood. Then we've got them set, we can change the heart rate, we can change the uh, blood pressure so we can mimic a hypo, hypotensive or hypovolemic episode. One of the most important aspects of these models is that they actually have to ensure that they can tie tight ligatures, um, which you can't uh, really mimic that with a cadaver. The bleeding felt real because <laughs> it didn't stop because the pressures were high, but it's good because it teaches you all the different challenges and how to make sure that you're doing everything as cautiously as possible and trying to keep the patient as safe as possible. It takes a little bit of the edge off, for sure, and I think that actually works in our favor because we, we don't feel too much pressure when something may go wrong, and we can really focus on the technique. Uh, this is going to make students a, a better, better veterinarian in the future by um, giving them the hands-on experience driving as the primary surgeon. Without this, they would go into practice without any sort of experience whatsoever with gastrointestinal surgery. And new graduate veterinarians are expected to be proficient in procedures like this as soon as they graduate. They gotta hit the ground running.